How many times have you gone to a location and haven't been able to see anything to photograph? Hi there, my name's Peter from Peter France Photography. And uh, recently, in the last few days, uh, my wife and I went down to Port Adelaide in South Australia and we kayaked around the inner port area, which is a fairly plain area. There's not much happening there at the moment. Uh, a lot of renovations and work, but yet, with a little bit of looking, a bit of thoughtfulness, you can still capture some lovely images. And this next video, you'll see us doing the kayaking, a few stills that we managed to capture. And if any more stills you'd like to see of that trip, please visit my website at www.peterfrancephotography.com. Okay, there you go. There's my adventurous assistant. Already out on that water and waiting. Can't wait to get going. So I suppose I'd better hurry up and get my act together. On the move, finally on the water. Cruising along. There we go, just coming up to the Birkenhead Tavern. Now today you might notice the video slightly different. I don't have the pole, the mast behind me like I normally do forgot one of the bits at home. Here's a stand-up paddle border out for a lovely day. Beautiful day today. Water's flat, no wind, sun's out. Couldn't be greater. Yeah, this is the inner area of the port. There's a couple of little uh, trawlers anchored over there. We'll go and explore that in a minute. There we go. Looks like a tugboat that's parked on the back there. But we'll get a bit closer to all of those and have a look. Go. Another one, another trawler. Getting ready by the sound of it. A bit of music on board. Ready to go out. And in front of us we have the Birkenhead Bridge. Of course loaded up with traffic as always. Okay, I'm just looking at this little uh, jetty here. And the tie-ons uh, for the boats, the little T cross, just a lovely little cross. Got a structure, concrete structure in front of me, three lovely legs, and I'm going to try and find an angle where I can shoot through there, capture those bits with the fisherman's market, fisherman's wharf market behind me. One of, one of the challenges, yeah there's Rosemary, there's a, a little boat coming in over there. One of the challenges with uh, photographing out of a kayak of course is you're always on the move. You, uh, you have to shoot quickly, try and find what you're looking for, get yourself set up and go snap. It's uh, Otherwise even just a beautiful day like the day you still have a little bit of current movement and they drift away the kayaks. There we go. Now with a bit of luck we'll see Rosemary come in. There she is there. We're just under the Birkenhead Bridge, looking out over the other side of the port uh, harbour area at the apartments. Further off in the distance is uh, the old flour mill and we'll get closer to that shortly. The area in front of me was once filled with boat sheds, repairs, boat repairs, slipways, uh, little jetties, an anchorage for small boats and a lot of the, the repairs were carried out in this area and it's sad that it had to go to make way for new development and this is why now we're just looking at a bare bit of land ready for more housing or high-rise development. Now out in front of me there's another old building, some sort of storage facilities of years gone by which looks great and uh, took a photo of it just uh, with part of the structure of the bridge uh, uh, in the shot so we'll see how that turns out. In front of me appears another area that looks like it's been uh, cleared from the old sheds and buildings that may have been there. There's still a bit of a, a remnants of an old slipway trolley on railway tracks 
and I gather this will be used for future development of the port of the inner port area. I just hope that they leave some of the buildings and reuse them uh, to leave part of our history intact. Here we go, a oh, lo lovely little old uh, run down, fallen down, dilapidated jetty or walkway or small wharf in front of me. Now I'm going to have a bit of a look around and see again if we can capture something. The possibilities are just endless. I've just taken a shot along the wharf and I'm going to go underneath now and have a look and see what's there to photograph. You get a you get a whole different perspective when you're sitting down at this level. I've got a couple of good photos there, I think, with uh, Hart's flour mill in the background. There's Rosemary coming around the bottom end of that uh, lovely jetty. There's endless possibilities in here from a kayak. Having a look with the GoPro down amongst the jetty through the jetty as we're going around it slowly drifting there with that lovely old uh, building in the background lovely uh, bit of rust forming on the jetty there so we've just taken a photo of that which i think will make very interesting with all the textures and colors by that lovely red uh, tugboat, a lot of smoke, a lot of stuff. They might have just fired up the motor and a lot of burning a lot of old oil and that. Okay, this is uh, the inner area of Port Adelaide and you can see all the wharfs here, quite substantial bit of work and this is where a lot of boats would have been moored, anchored as they came in. There we go, another view of Hart's Mill restaurant, stuck out over the water. And further over to the right, the steel structure, which we'll get in closer to. Okay, now in front of me, we have the loading ramp. We're getting a bit closer to it now for the old True Bridge. And the True Bridge used to be the ferry that serviced Kangaroo Island. And this is where it departed from, Port Adelaide. And then it would have to travel all the way out through Outer Harbour, down the Gulf, Cape Jervis, and then head across to uh, Kangaroo Island. So it was quite a lengthy trip and myself and my family were fortunate enough we actually had the last ride on the old True Bridge. It was fantastic. It was a lovely journey, very slow and you could see things as it was progressing on its way. Okay, now we're looking down underneath this, uh, the restaurant over the water at the port. I'm not sure what it's called. But we're looking through underneath and we'll go and paddle through underneath too. Uh, and in front of us is a boat that's just been firing up the motor. Lovely, lovely red looking tra little trawler there. And we'll get a bit closer and see what, what it looks like from there. Might be able to get a good photo from it too with those uh, uh, mooring lines hanging down in front of it. On that nice little uh, red boat there, trawler, made of, might have been a tugboat at one time, I don't know. But uh, there we go, just having a look at it and the lovely scenery around it. Look at that. Radio, we've just snuck through under the Birkenhead Bridge behind me, just looking over my shoulder. Look out in front, there's Rosemary waiting for me. Go another walkway down to a pontoon. Okay, now we're next to, in the water of course, looking at Fisherman's Wharf. There we go. Some new apartments and then down past, we'll scroll down past Fisherman's Wharf. There it all is. Here we go. We're going to run into uh, something. Yep, lovely. There we go. That'll slow me down. No problems. Explorer 2, it does trips around the port, up the Port River and uh, any other reason I think for taking it out. Over in front of us we have a uh, kayak hire place by the look of it. We have also a small fishing trawler and the dolphin 
explore in front of us. And over the top of it you'll see a, a couple of masts from a, a yacht. We go out in front there with our dolphin. Dolphin Explorer loading up for the afternoon trip, heading out. A whole lot of tourists up there, people hoping to see dolphins, and with a bit of luck they will. Okay, now straight out in front of me you'll see the one and all, and if we look up on top of the mast, a bit of rigging, a bit of maintenance going on, servicing, to keep it in good working order. The one and all was a purpose-built training ship, uh, a brigantine, and it was uh, created for the sole purpose of uh, teaching young people the skills of sailing these boats, these large uh, sailing vessels, which were a major part of our history and development of South Australia. The Faley was used for a variety of maritime work and it also has the reputation of being the last catch to service all the South Australian ports in the Gulf. And there we go, a piece of restoration work in progress. Uh, yeah, this is the, the, it's called the City of Adelaide. I'm not sure what style of boat, I did read up on it but I forgot, but there's only two of this style of uh, sailing vessel left in the world and this is one of them and the city of Adelaide used to ply its trade between England and uh, Adelaide uh, bringing uh, migrants over uh, goods and taking goods back and also dropping goods off around Port Augusta and this is back in the early 1800s now it's here in Adelaide bought back a couple of years ago for a restoration work to try and keep it intact it's open for tourists to go and visit and look through and it's just sitting here on the barge being slowly restored as money becomes available. The there we go, there's Rosemary wondering what that green thing is sitting up underneath it. If you come back here further Rosemary you can see what it's all about. Here it is. A lot of the restoration work's been going on on the inside more so than the outside, but it looks like they're slowly getting there, trying to maintain it, keep it intact in so it doesn't fall apart. There we go, we're heading back to our departure point. Right off in the distance you can see that little white bit of beach, Birkenhead Tavern, and we've uh, sort of finished our tour of the inner parts of uh, the Port Adelaide Harbour. And that's the Derrick Diver Bridge. And here we go, here's Rosemary. Hello, Rosemary. Hello, love. Uh, there we go, we're all still floating. Wind's picked up a little bit, so now we're heading back. Bite a lunch, and then maybe just a bit of a play.